Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how scheduling or cron job type feature works in Spring application. So for that, first I'm going to create a new project. So I'm selecting a Gradle project, you can do Maven or any other flavor. Going with the default. So first I'm going to add one library which is Spring Context. That's all I need. Uh, you can do the same uh, application with Spring MVC or Spring Boot. Uh, the code is pretty much the same. Uh, so to make a normal Java application, a Spring application, I need to create a class. Add some annotation over here. One is configuration. Second component scan. Inside our package name. And finally add the enable scheduling annotation. Uh, keep in mind for Spring MVC application, uh, these two are not necessary. Uh, MVC or Spring Boot, uh, it will be, uh, I guess, al already configured uh, for an MVC application. So this is not uh, extra uh, something that you need for uh, scheduling. Okay, next create the main method. And inside that, we're gonna create an object, new annotation config application context. And inside our uh, class, dot get bean again app dot class sorry so that's it that's all it takes to create a simple java application into uh, a spring application now to create a scheduling type uh, method uh, you can create a method inside this uh, i'm gonna create another class so it's going to be an inner class, but you can put in a separate file if you want. I'm just going to show it in one place. And mark it as component so that Spring picks it up. And inside that you can use dependency injection here, but I'm not going to bother uh, doing dependency injection. Just gonna write the code for scheduler. So for a scheduler, first uh, create a method. Give it any name. And to make it a scheduling, I mean, uh, doing something like a cron job or doing something in a uh, fixed time, uh, you add the annotation as scheduled. And within that, there are multiple flavor. Uh, if you see there is like cron, there is fixed delay and fixed rate. I'm not going to show all of them. Uh, I'm going to show maybe two or three in here uh, just to give you an idea. You can work on the rest uh, by looking into the documentation, I guess. So uh, let's first start with cron. Uh, so in the cron, it's just uh, the same as cron, uh, like six star unit to boot, three, four, five, six. And as I have shown you in here, uh, what these means, so minute, hour, day, month, day of the week. So if you now put something in here, It's uh, since everything is a star, it's going to run on every second. Now, if you simply run it, you'll see every second it's printing. Okay, now uh, to run it in every two second you do exactly what you do in cron job if you already know divided by two uh, 
uh, if you want to run in every minute you put uh, like this every second in every two minutes I uh, put like this or if you want to specify uh, like uh, in fifth second of a minute in tenth second of a minute uh, then you can do it like this so for now let's put uh, five to just see again uh, the same can be done with another way in this case let's try something else uh, we can do with fixed uh, rate we can use fixed rate and put the time so maybe every two seconds oh, we want to see uh, it uh, printed or uh, want to do something in that case just put uh, something in here and it will show in every two seconds so one is going to show in every uh, five second and one is gonna this one is going to show in every two second so let's run and see what happens so as you can see it's running in every two seconds and the fifth second and again every two seconds so that's pretty much the idea of scheduling in uh, how scheduling works in a Spring application. As I mentioned before, it works same in a Spring MVC or a Spring Boot application. Uh, the code uh, is exactly same uh, anywhere in a Spring uh, component. You just need to create a method and annotate it with schedule, put your flavor, what kind of scheduler you want to use. You can use cron, you can use fixed rate, and there are several other as I have shown you. Uh, and whichever is required for you you can use so yeah that's all for this video that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below uh, the code for this uh, video will be available on github and the link will be posted in video description so that's all have a nice day bye bye